Hi everyone. Hello guys. I'm gonna need you guys' assistance today. I'm going to need you guys' help today. Let the games begin, motherfucker. Let the motherfucking games begin, bitch. <laughs> Let the games begin, motherfucker. I'm gonna need you guys' assistance today. Definitely gonna need your assistance. <sighs> Bitch. <laughs> so. So. Yesterday I got a comment on my Instagram and I ignored it. The comment is still there, I'm sure. Let me check. I got a comment on my Instagram yesterday. It might have actually been one of you. And it said, did you delete some of your videos from YouTube? I was halfway through watching one and it disappeared. I got that comment 19 hours ago. I ignored it because I thought, what are you talking about? I didn't delete no videos. What are you talking about? Didn't delete no videos. 19 hours ago, right? Then I see another message on Twitter saying, why did you delete your story time? I was trying to watch it. And I'm thinking, what are you talking about? I look on my channel, guys. Yeah? On this channel right here. Daily Diana. Yeah? Every single story time was deleted. Every single story time was deleted. Okay. The one with the red dress, the one with the black dress, the one with the white dress, deleted, right? Not only that, every single video that he's in, deleted, not private, not private, deleted, gone. YouTube told me I only had 83 videos on my channel. Now, mind you, this channel was made in 2014, I believe. Do you know how many hundreds of videos I've had since 2014? To now 83. Who remembers back when we lived in, 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 flipping Leighton when we had the house with the brown walls. Vlogs from then deleted. Every prank, every challenge, every tag, every vlog that we'd ever done deleted. Not private. Mind you, all of these videos were private. These videos were not public. Some of them were public. Some of them were public, such as our house tour, a few of our latest vlogs. Some of them were public. I left some of them public but the majority of our joint videos together were on private. They have been deleted. They're not on, they're not in the back end. They're not on private. They are deleted. So then at first I'm thinking, who else would this be but him? Who would go out of their way? Cause I'm looking through the channels that have been left. I've looked, I've looked at the videos that have been left on my channel. He's left videos of me and Chai, he's left videos of me and Levi, he's left videos of me and Martika, left videos with me and my family. And it seems only the videos deleted are the ones with him in it. And he's obviously deleted my story times where I'm exposing the truth of what he's done. Oh, he doesn't want anyone to know the truth, does he? Mind you, in my story time videos, I didn't mention his name, not once. So I'm thinking, okay, he's hacked me 
because I changed my password, I think in 2019. I got suspicious emails in around 2019 and I felt like someone was trying to hack me. So I changed my passwords and I never gave it to anyone, not even him. Cause he used to have my passwords, mind you. He used to have my passwords. So I changed my password and I remember I didn't even give my password to him. But if anybody has a YouTube channel or if anybody has a Google account, forget YouTube. If anyone has a Google account, you would know that their security, they put the two, you can put the two-step security on, you can put the login from another device thing on. I've got all that set up. So if there's any suspicious logins, if there's any suspicious logins, I'm gonna get an email straight away. Is this you trying to log in from this location? Can you confirm from another device? So Google's on it, Google's on it. You lot, stop talking for a minute because you lot are trying to guess. You lot are saying maybe he did this, maybe that. let me speak, yeah? Yeah? <laughs> because I'm going to tell you exactly what happens, yeah? So I'm thinking I don't have any emails. I don't have any suspicious logins. So I know it ain't someone hacking me. It ain't someone hacking me because Google would have been on that. Yeah? It's not someone hacking me, love. So then I'm thinking, the videos deleted are very strategic. It's only the ones with him. So it must be him. It, it won't be just a regular hater or some regular person trying to hack me. It's very planned out, right? So then I'm thinking maybe he guessed my password. But even if he guessed my password, if he guessed it, I would still get a notification because if he's logged in with my correct password from a different suspicious device I've never used before, Google will still ask you to confirm. They will still text my phone because my number is set up. Even if he's put in my password correct, if it's a different device, different location, they're going to ask me to confirm. Yeah? Because when I've gotten a new iPad, new phone, everything, and I've logged in myself, they still ask me to confirm and I'll get the, the notification that you've been logged in from a device in this area, right? So I've ruled that out. He's not done that. Yeah? Then I've remembered. Then I've remembered. There's an app called YouTube Studio, okay? It's not the same as the YouTube app where you watch videos. YouTube Studio is the creator studio app where you are able to see all of your uploads, see all of your analytics, see how much money you're making, see change thumbnails, change titles. You're able to do all of that. The YouTube Studio app, you are able to control your channel on the back end. Once upon a time, this channel, Daily Diana, was called We're Gonna Film Stuff. It was also once called Diana and Ahmet. Okay. Once upon a time, he was logged in on the Creator Studio app because I logged him in because he would respond to comments at a point in time. He would check what's going on in the back end. Yeah. So I logged him in. I didn't give him the password. I remember taking his phone and logging him in. Now, here's a little something that I learned. If you are logged in to the YouTube Creator Studio app, no matter how many times you change your Google password, you will remain logged in the YouTube Creator Studio app. It's not until you go on Google, you go to security, you check all of your devices which are logged in and force log them out, will you be logged out of the app. So silly me for forgetting that once upon a time he was logged in. Because let's be real, he was logged in a few years ago. And yeah, he was checking comments, responding to comments, but that didn't last long. 
you know, he was in and out, in and out. That didn't last long. So when he stopped checking that, I forgot it. I forgot he even had that. And he's, I'm pretty sure he's had a new phone since then. <laughs> so I'm thinking, because even now, look how long it's been. Look how long it's been. So he probably even forgot himself he was logged in. You know he ain't on no YouTube to be looking at no app. He probably forgot about that app and forgot he was logged in. He probably has come across this now, seen shit. I'm still logged in on the Creator Studio. And what did he do? He deleted, yeah? He deleted, not privated, not unlisted, delete. They were not there. They were not there. So that's the only thing I can think of how he's done that. So then obviously I've seen that my story times are gone where I'm exposing him. And I've seen that all the vlogs and content we've ever filmed together were gone too. So I thought, okay, cool. He's being petty. He don't want me talking and exposing him. He don't want me having any videos with his face in it. Okay, he's being petty. Until... Until I'm starting to look at the content left on the channel and I'm starting to realise, no, I had more videos than this. He's deleted videos that have fuck all to do with him. He's deleted the last two story times. You guys know I started my story time segment where I'm reading you guys' emails that you send to Diana's diary. And I'm reading you guys' stories. Remember I did two episodes. One with the blue green dress. And one with the um, black dress. He deleted those. He deleted the vlog. <laughs> he deleted the vlog titled I Went Viral. That had over 100,000 views. He deleted it. He deleted another vlog. Which had over 100,000 views titled let the divorce proceedings commence that vlog spoke about divorce all of five seconds in a whole hour long these are like hour long videos these are my vlogs he's deleted so much content he deleted my story you know my story time about mitch and sabrina he deleted it you know my q a the q a titled um are me and Alyssa still friends he deleted it. Yeah. Here's the biggest one for me. I went to Manchester. You guys remember I vlogged when I went to Manchester. Yeah. Can you not let me speak, please? Because you lot are telling me something. Like, let me speak. Let me finish what I'm saying. Yeah. Because I've been on the phone to fucking Google all day. Let me get to it. Stop telling me. Stop saying you're confused. Let me finish. <laughs> Let me finish. Because I've been on the line with Google all day. Yeah? I'm telling you now, he deleted it. Deleted it. Yeah? You guys know I went to Manchester and I vlogged. In that vlog, when I went to Manchester, I had a Hello Fresh sponsorship. A HelloFresh sponsorship in that vlog when I went to Manchester. Aisha, let me speak. Aisha V, let me speak, please. Let me land. Let me land. Stop being confused, Slim. Let me speak and then you won't be confused. I had a HelloFresh sponsorship in that Manchester vlog. That Manchester vlog had nothing to do with him. He was not mentioned. He was not spoken about. He deleted it. Mind you, HelloFresh haven't paid me for that sponsorship yet. The way sponsorships work, you invoice them, they pay 45 days after invoice. So I haven't been paid. I uploaded that Manchester vlog in April. It has not been 45 days yet for me to get paid. I have not been paid for my sponsorship and he deleted the video. So, so now I know you're trying to fuck with my money. You are trying to mess with my money because you deleted a video that has nothing to do with you, nothing about you. It had a sponsorship in it. I've signed a contract. I've signed a contract with the company 
The video is supposed to stay up for the duration of the contract and he's deleted it. And I haven't even been paid for that video yet. So I've obviously gotten on to Google. I've gotten onto Google. I spoke to two people. Spoke to the first person. I said, I let them know what happened. Listen, hundreds of videos have been deleted off my channel and I didn't do it. I said, I think I know who did do it because only one person ever had access. Okay. They've said to me now, if you can send the links for these videos, then we can, we can retrieve them. So I'm thinking, where the fuck am I going to get the links? Where am I going to get the links for all these videos? Because mind you, I don't always promote my videos. I don't always post the links. But then I started thinking, where can I find links? I started looking through my Twitter. Because, you know, sometimes if I, if I post a new video, I'm going to post it on Twitter. Check out my new YouTube video. So I've gone on my Twitter. I found as much as I can. I found a few links of some videos. Sent the links over. They retrieved them. So those videos got back. I think I found my second story time on my Twitter and something else. And one time I'm gonna tell you now, one time now, and I know a few of you from that website LSA are on here right now. I'm gonna tell you lot now, this is probably the only time I'm gonna ever be grateful for you bitches over on Lipstick Alley, bitch. Because you lot have posted so many links of my videos in that thread. I had to go onto the thread and scroll through pages and pages to see when you lot post my videos so I can get the link, yeah? So I can get the link. <laughs> so I've gotten a bunch of links to different videos. So thank you. Thank you, bitch. <laughs> yeah? One time or one time only you come in handy. Thank you for posting all my content on the website because I got the links, sent it to Google. They retrieved it. Then that guy, the one I was talking to, he was like, if there's any, if there's anything else, um, send it over. I'm like, I can't find the links. He kept on telling me, send the links. I'm like, listen, it's hundreds of videos. Where am I going to get links to hundreds of videos? He ended up disconnecting the chat. I'm like, I'm done. I've reconnected to Google again. And the second person I spoke to, he told me something different. He said, listen, you don't even need the links. If you can give me the names, titles of videos, I'll retrieve them. So I'm like, okay, this is even better. So this is where I'm remembering, like my Hello Fresh vlog. I remember the title was um, "What a Terrible Welcome." I remember like those. Those are recent videos. I remember. So I've typed in "What a Terrible Welcome." He's gone and he's found it. I've typed, okay, another one. I went viral. He's gone and he's found it. I've typed in the story time titles. Um, he's he cheated on me while I was at my grandma's funeral. That was one of my latest videos. I remembered, sent it. So this is where I need you guys help. I've remembered as much as I can. So those videos that you're seeing on my channel and you got guys are saying, I'm confused, they're still there, they're still there. It's because I've remembered names of titles and I've retrieved them. I've sent them to Google and retrieved. I've still got all the transcripts of me talking to Google. Yeah? I've still got the transcripts. So if you guys can look on my channel and remember anything that's missing, just know I've not deleted nothing. I don't delete videos. I'm really trying to wreck my brain. What videos did I have on there? That he, he deleted my Diana's diary. I retrieved that one too. Why would he delete my Diana's diary? It had nothing to do with him. It wasn't about him. Because when I'm sitting there thinking he's deleting these because he don't want me to talk about him or because he's in it. No, he's deleting videos that he has nothing to do with. Not, he's not mentioned. He's not topic of discussion. He's deleted videos that have over 100,000 views. All of them videos had good views. And he's deleted every single video on my channel and left me with shit views. He's left me with 20k. That's what he's done. He knows how YouTube works. He knows how the paycheck works. So he deleted all my good off, good off views, left all the 20K views and dead views. I've retrieved as much as I can. So listen here, yeah? Because I'm sorry, I've been very, very <laughs> kind, okay? I could have said a lot more. I could have said a lot more. I could have even said your name in these videos. I didn't say your name in these videos. I didn't include no receipts. And we all know I have the receipts, sir. 
That's why when people are sitting here saying, oh, he's not saying anything. Oh, he needs to come up with his side of the story and make his video. Nah, 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 nah. He has no side of the story because he knows I'm not a liar and I have not lied about anything. That is why you will not see him make a comeback video and try and debunk anything I have said because he cannot. Because if he tries to do that, I will pull out my receipts. Hello, Simon Wright. <laughs> if he does that, he knows I have the receipts. He cannot try to debunk anything I've said because I spoke facts. Everything I said in every single video is the truth and he knows it. The mask has slipped, hun. You bitter broke bitch, yeah? You bitter broke bitch, yeah? Let's wake it up. No one was even worried anymore. He should have just sat there and minded his damn business because eventually people wouldn't be thinking about him no more. Nobody's going to be thinking about the story times no more. Let it die out. He already tried from when I released my EP. When I released my EP last year, what did he do? What did he do? He reported it to YouTube. When I released my EP last year, he reported it to YouTube and YouTube emailed me saying that your videos have been reported. Don't worry, you don't have to do anything, but we will be checking them out. And what did they do? What did they do? What did they do? They checked it out, saw nothing and left my EP up. Left my EP up. What did they do? YouTube didn't take my videos down because they said your reports are dumb. And he was vexed. And what did he say to me after that? We had a conversation after that. I was like, listen, I know you tried to report my EP. I know you tried to get my music taken down and YouTube declined you. Then he was like, yeah, I'm not, um, I was just angry. I'm not trying to do that anymore. I don't care. You just do you, I do that. But you still, he knows he could have never reported my story times. He couldn't report my story times because YouTube wouldn't listen to him. Freedom of speech. I'm allowed, everything I said in my story times, I'm allowed to say. It's my truth to say it. I was a part of those stories. That was my experience. Your name was not mentioned. No incriminating evidence was given of you. It can't be defamation of character when your name's not mentioned. You think I'm stupid. You think I'm stupid. Me can't defame nobody character when name no mention. It could all be a fictional story for all who know what I know. It could have all fictional. It could have all storybook. No name, no mention. Yeah? No receipt, no dede. Yeah? So he could have never reported those videos for nothing. The only thing he could have did was delete them in the back end. And he must have felt like he hit jackpot. He must have felt like he hit jackpot when he saw he was still logged in to create a studio all them years later. And he must have felt like, yeah, bitch. Yeah, bitch, I'ma fuck with your money. I'ma, I'ma take your money. And not only am I gonna take the videos regarding me, I'ma take the ones not regarding me just so you don't get no money. Because Let's rewind back to November when our lease was up, yeah? Yeah? And I overheard him and his batty and bench brethren Lee on the home security cameras talking about, oh, when November comes, I bet she's going to be telling you she's not got nowhere to live and she's going to be homeless. And here my man now. Yeah, well, she's made her bed. She can lay in it. That's what they were over there talking about. That's not my problem. She better not come to me. So they were all over there planning my demise. They were all over there thinking I was going to be over there talking about, oh, I'm homeless. I have nowhere to live. All because his name and Lee's name was on the lease and my name weren't. And every house we've had, every house we've had has been through his connect. My money, mind you, 
my money, but his connect. He knew our landlord. That's how we got all them places. Because he knew our landlord. So he must have been thinking in his head. He must have been thinking in his head. Without me, she's not going to prosper. Because you know how many times he said to me? He's, I've, even, I've even got him in 4K on the fucking EP. I don't want you to make the wrong decision. I'm not saying that I'm right all the time, but... I don't want you to make a decision and regret it. The man kept on trying to plant seeds in my head that I'm going to regret wanting a divorce, that I'm going to regret wanting to break up with him, that I'm going to regret wanting him to leave. He wanted me to regret ever asking him for a divorce. Do you know how many times he's asked me, are you sure you want to do this? Because once I go, I'm not coming back. Nigga, that's the point. Nigga, that's the point. If I leave, I'm not coming back. Man said that like that was a threat. Nigga, that's the point. How much times he's asked, have you found, up until leading up to the end of the lease, have you found a place? Have you, blah, blah, blah. And every time I'd be like, no. I'll be acting like I'm clueless, like no. I don't, I, no, I haven't found a place. No, I, I don't know where I'm going to go yet. No, I might end up having to go to my mum's. <laughs> He really wanted me to regret ever ending things. How dare I end things with him? Not great almighty him. But what did I do? What did I do? November come, I moved into my new yard, yeah? My new yard that I'm currently sitting in with DXINX on the blood clot basketball hoop, yeah? I moved into my yard. What else did I do? I got me a new car, yeah? What else am I doing? I'm traveling, I'm meeting new people, I'm making new music, he's vex. So when he's sitting there looking like some unbothered Eunice, yeah? Just know he's very much bothered. Everybody's looking at him and thinking, oh, you've done all these videos and oh, he hasn't said nothing back, leave him alone. No, he's very much bothered, but he's bothered privately. And I get all of the back end stuff. He's very much bothered and has been bothered from last year. He's vex, vex, yeah? And he's trying to hit it where it hurts. He's trying to touch my money. He tried, he already tried. He already tried to hit me where it hurts with Aaliyah. Because I haven't even really, I touched on it a little bit, but I haven't even really touched on how he tried to sabotage my court case and my whole dealings with Aaliyah, tried to get Aaliyah Tekwe from me. He really thought he had the power in that situation until I came clean to social. And after I come clean, social still said I was the best person, yeah? Didn't need you, sir, to get custody. Never needed you, sir, to get custody. But you got in my head for a little bit. You got in my head for a little bit where I thought actually I might need Ahmed to get custody. But he was wrong, so I know he was vex after that. I know he was vex that they didn't take my flipping niece from me. So vex. <laughs> he already tried to sabotage that. Then he tried to sabotage living arrangements, saying, well, I don't care. You're gonna have to get out of this house because it's my name on it. You gotta go somewhere else. Tried to be all, you know, vindictive with that. So yeah, I did come out the house. I come out the house, even though I was paying the rent, I still come out the house. Did he not text me in February saying, hi, um, could I have your address so I can get the divorce proceeding started? Was that not in February? Are we not coming into June? Where's the papers? Yeah, where's the papers? You text me in February. And I didn't give you my address. I gave you my mum's address. And you know my mum's address already, so you're vex. Because he gave me a feisty response after I responded with my mum's address. You don't need my address for no papers. Tech my mother's address that you already have. You're vex. Because you, you didn't really want to file no divorce. What you wanted to do was get my address. But you didn't get it, did you? You didn't get it. And now you're vex. Like, 
I don't get it. If you're so angry about me making songs about you, making story times about you, wouldn't the smart thing to do would be leave me alone? So I, Cause now look, I'm talking about you again. And now you've given me more ammo. Cause you know what I'm gonna do? Guess what I'm gonna do? What's Diana gonna do? Ask what's Diana gonna do. Diana, yeah. Diana is gonna put on her makeup. She's gonna do her hair. She's gonna turn on that fireplace. She's gonna open a bottle of wine, put on a nice sexy gown, and I'm gonna talk about it. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put on my long dress, get my wine glass, sit and we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna talk about your little episode today, sir. You went and deleted all my videos. There's so many videos I'm not gonna get back because I can't remember them. I need to remember the titles so I can send them to Google and so they can retrieve them. I'm saying to Google, can't you just see on the back end all the videos that were deleted? Can't you just retrieve everything? They're like, no, sorry, we have our policies. That's not how it works. We need the link. And then the second man's telling me, or the title, if you don't have the link, the title, title name. Now I'm gonna make more. See, the thing is before I was able to retrieve any of the videos that I retrieved, I was gonna re-upload them. I was gonna re-upload every single video I've got. Granted, I don't have everything because I need to make space on my hard drive. And sometimes once a video is up, I just delete it from the hard drive because I know it's already up. But I had all three of my story times on my hard drive. I was ready to re-upload those bitches with a new title. My dusty, broke, bitter ex-husband don't want you lot to see this title. I don't keep all the videos I post on a hard drive because a hard drive gets full and I need space. And I need space. Like, let's really talk about it. It's like he wants me to not talk about him but then he gives me a reason to talk about him let's talk about the fake snapchat account that messaged me the other day calling me a nickname only he used to call me and nobody else knew this fucking nickname calling themselves a nickname that he used to call himself let's talk about how you've been my troll for years let's talk about how you've been making fake twitters to harass your wife fake instagrams to harass your wife let's talk about that you fucking psycho yeah you broke, bitter bitch. That's the hashtag for him. How much time did I say? Leave him alone, guys. Don't go his, to his page on my behalf and, 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 and spam his comments or, or send him hate. Leave him alone, guys. How many times did good, good Diana say leave him alone? How many times did good, good Diana say that we still got each other's back? How many times did good, good Diana say that was my best friend? But the whole time, while he was my best friend, he was harassing me with fake accounts, trolling me in my own home, looking at me, telling me to get over it. It's just the internet. Ignore it. Empty the fucking clip. We got a new hashtag. Bitter broke bitch. Yeah? That's the new hashtag. And that is what you are. Bitter broke and a bitch. How much things I've left out of my story time? Should we wake it up? Should we wake it up that you were 35 nyamming 19 year old front? You fucking pervert. Should we wake it up? That's, imagine, big man, 35, having an affair with a 19 year old. You're disgusting. You're fucking disgusting. Should we wake it up? Should we? Because I can really done your dance if you really want me to, sir. We can really done your dance. And it come like your arm if I really done it. Should we wake it up? Should we wake up how much time you've mashed up our yards, punched holes through walls, broken furniture, thrown things at me, had me by my neck, 
shaken me up, fling me down. Yeah, you might not have close hand fisted punched me, but you've put your hands on me before. So let's wake it the fuck up. Yeah. And I ain't never said nothing. I've come on here and I've admitted to my wrongs though. I come on here and told you lot I dashed the fucking big brick phone in his face. I can own my shit. Should we talk about all the flower pots you broke? The bed you broke? The wall you punched your up? Like, should we talk about it? Should we talk about it? Should we talk about how you left me locked in a room? Can we talk about how you locked me in a room screaming into my face for two hours straight? Should we wake it up? Should we? It's not enough. See, people think that, oh, from my story times, oh, all she dealt with was a bit of cheating. A bit of cheating. Oh, it's more than a bit of cheating. Yeah? Mental abuse, verbal abuse, physical abuse. I won't say physical abuse because roughing me up, I can take it. But it's not even the fact that I can take it. It's just like, all right, cool. He didn't punch me, so... Should we really wake it up? Man, I remember one time he was having a conversation. Man had a basketball in his hand. He's playing with the basketball, playing with the basketball. I said one thing he didn't like. Man, like he was about to throw the fucking basketball right in my face, but then he caught it. Like trying to put fear in my heart. Trying to put fear in my heart. Big force, you know, basketball right towards my face but then he stopped it before it hit my face. How about we really expose it? Should we do that? Should we? Because clearly, even though I'm telling my truth and still trying to protect you, you trying to, you trying to mess with my money knowing I've got a child to look after. He knows that this is my bread and butter. He knows YouTube is where I make my bread. He knows YouTube is where I make my bread. And he knows I've got a child to look after. And that didn't stop him from deleting all my content, including sponsored content I've not even been paid for yet. Sponsored content that he has nothing to do with. It ain't about him. So he can't come with the argument, oh, you're talking about me. Or, oh, you're using my image. No, you can't come with that. You've deleted videos that have nothing to do with you. Lots of them. You've deleted all my videos that I have sponsored or have good views because you want me to sit on my channel with no views. Because what is it you said to me once upon a time? The videos only get views when I'm in them anyway. The videos only get views when I'm in them anyway. So is that what you wanted to do? Take me back to no views so you can sit there and be like, ha, you've got no views and now you've got no money and now you've got no nothing. Well, guess what, bitch? YouTube retrieved the videos you frowsy fuck youtube retrieved the videos now what and i've logged out every device and changed my password again how do you feel maybe i should just send all the links of all the videos and say shame bitch still there the videos are back. I know you're wondering how, how did how did she how did she get them back? Because I've been on YouTube for a very long fucking time. Yeah. YouTube cares about things like that. They want to help their creators out. Because I'm the content creator on, on YouTube. And I always have been. When it's YouTube Black, when it's YouTube Summit, when it's summer in the city. Who are they inviting? Diana. They're not inviting the both of us. They're inviting me. I'm the content creator who's been bringing content to this platform for years and years. So they will, they will help me. They will. Yeah? So as much as you think without you, I would have no views or without you, nobody's checking for me. Know that they are. Because when I really deep it, I never really thought of it before. Remember, we were together before I ever had a YouTube channel. We were together for three, four years before I made a YouTube channel. So really and truly, he watched me grow. He watched the birth of Tootsie Time. He watched my subscriber count grow, grow, grow. He was there when I reached every single milestone. And now that I'm thinking about it, he wasn't rooting for me. He wasn't happy for me. 
he was probably sitting there burning inside watching me hit every single milestone and create something from the ground up. He was probably seething. Like, how the fuck is she getting these subscribers? He's been with me in public plenty of times. Girls are coming up to me. Diana, I love you. Tootsie, I love you. Diana, you've saved my life. Diana, your videos got me through a dark depression. Diana, can I have a hug? Diana, can I have a picture? Diana, I love your music. Every time girls are coming up to me in fucking public and he's standing right there, acting like he's happy for me. Saying, oh, do you want me to take the picture for you? Do you want me to take the picture? Whole time he was vexed that they probably weren't running up to him and saying, oh, I love you. I love watching you. It was always Diana they're running up to in the street and then giving him afterthought. Oh, and hello, I love you guys, your challenges. Vex, vex. Is it my fault? How are you jealous of someone you're supposed to be in a partnership with? How? How are you, how are you jealous? You're supposed to be rooting for me. You're supposed to be happy for me. And this is what I'm saying out of spite. I don't, I don't believe he was cheating just because he wanted to cheat. Oh my gosh, Samantha. Samantha, you are the smartest Smartest person ever. Oh my gosh, Samantha. Samantha said, maybe check your email and see if you still have confirmation emails from uploading. That might have the links, right? And if it don't have the links, it should have the titles. I've got to go on my email and check every YouTube email saying your video is uploaded and get my titles back that way. I'm going to get my videos back. I'm gonna get my videos back. I'm gonna get my videos back. Samantha is a legend. Samantha is a legend. She's so, so smart. She's so, so smart. <laughs> and this is why I call you guys because I know someone gonna have something to say that's gonna help. And the thing is, all the videos that he's in, the old ones, I wouldn't even care if they were gone. Majority of them were on private anyway. But just the fact that he deleted them, I'm gonna get those back too. <laughs> all the tags, all the challenges, all the vlogs, all the, uh, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna get them back. And they're not gonna be private, they're gonna be public, all public. Might even change the titles. Change the title. Say, watch this right now because this dusty man don't want you lot to see this. He don't want me to make money off of it. So let's make money off of it. Let's make money off your big head. Woo woo. Woo woo. <laughs> I'm going to be up all night on the fucking computer to Google. And they're, they're, they're lucky. Yeah. Because their, their help service is 24 hours a day. Yeah. <laughs> help service is 24 hours a day <laughs> someone's gonna be working overtime at that google i tell you yeah someone's gonna be working overtime at that google retrieving all of the videos he's deleted about to play with my money it's not enough the thing is what someone said before samantha said that he was cheating out of spite i was thinking something similar earlier i was thinking do you know what when i really deep it all the cheating that was his way of breaking me down to feel worthless he couldn't use money to control me because he was broke he knew how much I wanted the marriage to work. He knew that he had did the ultimate betrayal and I forgave him. He knew that. So every time he wanted to pipe me down, he would cheat. Have me crying, have my chest in pain, have me not eating, have me not washing my skin, not combing my hair. 
having me ask why, why? Why would you do this? Because when I tell you now, when I tell you now, the day I said to him out of nowhere, I don't want to be with you anymore. If you see how he reacted, what? Why? I haven't even done anything now. Man said, I haven't even done anything now. Man said, well, if you, if you couldn't deal with what I already did before, you should have left me then. How are you going to leave me for something now, years later, when I, have, I actually haven't done anything now? <laughs> I said, yeah, I could have left you five years ago, but I didn't. But maybe five years later, I've realised I'm still not over that. So I can do what I want. And then that's when the begging came. That's when the crying came. That's when he used his depression and says, you can't leave me, I'm depressed. How could you leave me when I'm at my worst, my lowest moment ever? That's how you're really going to do me. When I'm at my lowest, you're going to leave me now. Thanks a lot, Diana. Thanks a lot for leaving me when I need you the most. Doing everything in his power, then locking me in a room, screaming in my face. Doing all of that. Man said he was going to commit suicide if I left him. He wants to end it. If you leave me, I'm just going to end it. Because what is the point? Everything in my life is shit now. And you were the last thing. That's what man said. Everything in my life is already shit. You are the last hope of any goodness in my life. And now you're going to leave me too. So I'm just going to end it. That's the type of manipulation he did. But let anybody start bringing up, oh, you did that too, Diana. You guys did a story time where you said you took pills. I was 19, he was 35. Big fucking difference. I was 19. I have never done that again. That story time that I told you guys when he was sat right next to me, when I said he tried to break up with me and I pretended to take pills, I was 19. I never did it again. I'm 33. Yeah, I'm 33. I've never done that again. He was 35 telling me he's going to end his life if I leave him. Yeah. So don't compare us. It's not the same thing. When I was 19, I pretended to take paracetamol. I didn't even take them. I pretended. But people always love to bring that up. So I had to just clarify that before someone brings it up and says, well, you did the same thing, Diana, before anyone tries. And that's the thing. I own my shit. Whoever knows about that story only knows it because I sat on YouTube and told it. You think I hide my shit? I own my shit because I know who I am and I know who I was. He ain't told you lot that though. Everything you lot know about him is because I've had to say it. He will never own his shit. He will never come and come clean and say, yeah, I did. I did say I was going to commit suicide if she left me at big 35 years old. I did say that. He's never going to own that. He's never going to come and own and say, yeah, I did cheat on this with this person, that person, this 19 year old, this, that. I joined up all these websites to go and have sex with random people in the area. Yep, I did. I did. He's never going to come on here and say all of that. You know what he is going to come online and say, though? Music is of the devil. I don't feel comfortable listening to certain songs. I don't feel comfortable looking at certain TV shows or watching certain movies. God is coming. Jesus is coming. That's what he is going to get online and say, though. He's going to get online and tell you how Jesus is coming, that we need to repent for our sins. He ain't going to get online and say, I fucked up. I was cheating on my wife for years. I wasn't contributing financially for years. I was sleeping with teenagers. He ain't going to come online and say that. I've got a porn addiction. He's going to come online and say that. Anything I've ever done that anyone can use against me, I've shared myself. Because I'm not ashamed of anything I've done. I've made mistakes. I've done certain things and I own it because I'm not that person anymore. I'm not that person anymore. But you couldn't just sit there. You couldn't just sit there and let it all die down. You've put me through enough hurt and pain. 
for 12 years of my life. You couldn't just let this die down and everybody will forget about it. I've moved on, you've moved on, you live your life, I live mine. No, you wanted to still come and try and get something. You want something so bad. Like, how are you mad at me for leaving you when you're the reason I left you? I didn't leave you just to leave you. You are the reason I left. You caused this. If you didn't want me to leave you, then you should have been a good husband. How are you mad at me for finally putting me first? It took me long enough. It took me long enough to put myself first. But I finally do and now you mad at me? Now you mad at me? <laughs> like, sir, you about to be 36. Honestly, figure it out. You about to be 36, hun. <laughs> figure it out. <laughs> figure it out. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, what? Figure it out. Trolling me. Con the thing is, I've been getting this really weird comment. Not comment, but a commenter on my videos in the last two days. They're just commenting on like bare different videos, just saying like weird things. And now I'm starting to think, is that you? <laughs> is that you? Please don't tell me he's reporting the live. Why, does it look like the live has been reported? He probably is reporting live. <laughs> he probably is. You can't silence me and that's what makes you so angry. Cause let's not forget, he begged me not to make any videos about him. And I said I wouldn't. I lied. Please, Diana, don't do any like sit down, story time type videos about any of this because you know how people are they're gonna feel like this is who i am now when i'm not that person anymore you know i'm not that person anymore but because it's gonna be fresh information to them they're gonna just still look at me like i'm that person so please just don't make no videos i said don't worry i'm not gonna make no videos about you i'm gonna put it in the music i put it in the music i showed it but i also made videos and you mad you mad because i made money money it's called reparations i need to collect all the money i done spent me need to collect me need to collect back my money big big shopping spree me the tech japan or your birthday in a japan yeah where have you ever taken me for my birthday? You make me cry on my birthdays. Now it's all making sense. You don't want me to be happy on a day that celebrates me. You don't want anyone to come and celebrate me on one day out of the year. You don't want me to be happy and everybody singing songs to me and giving me gifts and praising me and, you know, boosting me up. No, instead, you want to make me cry and upset on my birthday. When you, as my husband, should be doing the biggest thing for me, no? But when it's your birthday, I'm surprising you with tickets to Japan. When it's your birthday, I'm whisking you here. I'm whisking you there. I'm whisking you everywhere. And even if I'm not whisking you away somewhere, I'm doing something special for you. I'm making something for you. But instead on my birthdays, you find a way to make me cry and make me upset. Never bought me a birthday cake in my life. In my life. 
Never made me a birthday, never got me a birthday cake, never made me anything. I remember one time man bought me a fucking anniversary card on my birthday. Man bought me an anniversary card on my birthday and said that they didn't have any birthday cards. Sorry, it's an anniversary card, but I couldn't find a birthday card. Not even that. <laughs> Man bought me an anniversary card on my birthday and said he couldn't find a birthday card. I remember one Valentine's Day, man went to fucking Asda, bought me one, one small heart pillow and just regular like Casbury's chocolate. Some dusty looking fucking pillow. Didn't even have a tag on it. You know the ones where you're in Asda and they've probably got like one pillow left of something and there's no tag on it because someone's pulled it off. It's like, it's like there's not even stock. There's not even multiple. Just, oh look, there, there's that, probably put in clearance. It's probably put in the clearance section. <laughs> the whole pillow was all out of shape. Weren't even in shape. And some Cadbury's. Some Cadbury's. <laughs> and said, I know I'm really rubbish at this. I'm not good at things like this. You know, I'm not good at things like this. Happy Valentine's. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, I should have divorced him years ago. I should have left him years ago, but I didn't. I can't go back and say shoulda, woulda, coulda or beat myself up about not leaving earlier because I left eventually. And every single time I did try to leave because the time I've left now isn't the first time I've tried to leave. Mind you, I've tried to leave before. I've tried to leave before and he would always manipulate me into staying always make me feel bad, always make me feel like he's going to change, always make me feel like things are going to be different. Oh my gosh, he's a great mastermind manipulator. I tell him that. I always just say that to him. And every time I say that to him, he'll get triggered. I said, you're a mastermind manipulator. He'll get so fucking triggered. I hate when you call me that. Don't call me a manipulator. I don't manipulate anyone. Truth hurts. Nothing would trigger him like me calling him manipulative. Nothing would trigger him like that word there. He hated me using that word there. Hated it so bad. But that's what you are. But now, now, now maybe I should actually figure out what money I can claim. Maybe I need some advice from a divorce lawyer. What money can I claim? Because he's trying to stop my money. Yeah, he's trying to stop my bread and butter. Yeah. So what money can I claim? <laughs> you wanna play? You wanna play? You wanna play? Because we can play. We can play. Right. He knows I've got a baby here to look after. He knows I've got to pay my rent, keep a roof over our head. And he's deleted all my videos. Deleted all of them, guys. All of them. The only ones he left were videos that had 20K and less views. He knows 20K views ain't paying bills. He knows that. He knows that. He's been with me long enough and seen all the money I've made to know that 20K views ain't paying no bills. He's deleted every single video, even ones that have nothing to do with him because they had good views. It's not very godly of him at all, is it? deleted all my videos from this channel. I've managed to retrieve a few. When I get off of here, I'm gonna start going through my emails, try and retrieve the rest. 
I need to act quick though, because I don't know how long they're going to be available in the back end for YouTube to even retrieve them. Because I asked, I said, is there a time limit on this to retrieve these videos? Because I don't know when they were deleted, but I'm assuming he deleted them yesterday. So I'm like, is there a time limit on this? They said, we don't know if there's a time limit, but what I will say is any videos you have to retrieve, send them immediately. I said, okay. Because I hope they're in a time limit on this. Man deleted my videos, you know. Didn't even just demonetize them or put them on private. No, he full on deleted. Can't retrieve. Can't get back. But may I go get them back? I think I might actually start promoting my story times. Maybe I need to start promoting my story times on Twitter. Let me post a couple Snapchats, a couple Instagrams. Check out my story times, guys. Everyone, check out my... Make sure you share it. Make sure you share all the story times, yeah? Let's just share them. Let's get that 500k to a million views. Let's get a million views on that story time. Wouldn't that be swell? <laughs> I think I should just text him the links and say, didn't you delete this? Mm. That's funny. I did text him. I text him from my business phone because he's blocked everywhere else. So I text him on my business phone this morning when I found out. And I said, what's your problem? All now, no response. He's probably blocked my business number now. So what's your problem? Like, what, is, what is your problem? What a weirdo. What a fucking weirdo. It is what it is. But anyway, I've retrieved some of the videos. I'm glad I was able to retrieve the one that I had my sponsorship in. So hopefully I'll still get paid my money, which should be coming any day now. I will work on retrieving other videos. If there's any videos that you guys come to mind that you remember and you've noticed that they're gone, just give me a little reminder. I'll make sure to get those ones back, especially. Send them to me on my socials. Well, I'm banned on TikTok, so I can't go live on TikTok. And I'd rather not go live on TikTok because this live will be staying on my channel once I've left. It will be staying on my channel with monetization switched on. So that's the great thing about YouTube and YouTube Live. Anyone who missed it? I mean, there's quite a lot of people here at the moment. Over 3,000 people here. Wow. Wow. Maybe 3,000 more. Want to see it later. So I'll leave this live there fully monetized. Yeah. Do you know what I mean, babe? Yeah. Let's make some money off this as well. And then, if not tonight, then tomorrow. I've got a new gown that I need to put on. Actually, do you know what? Maybe I'll even do it in my wedding dress. Hmm. I might have to do this little escapade in my wedding dress. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. That's what I'll do. I've got to find my veil. Hmm. <laughs> You want to play? It's like he must have forgotten who I am. Or clearly he doesn't know who I am. <laughs> know me. Fuck what you need or know me. <laughs> Throw me. Show me. Show me your love. It was phony. Who are you lying to? <laughs> Is it myself or you? They gave you more than a few. Because I ain't had nothing to lose. You want to be petty? We can get petty. Because... We definitely forgot about you on the channel. We definitely weren't making any videos about you on the channel anymore. So why? Why? What was the reason? My latest content was just, you know, moving on. 
It's very sad, isn't it? Like, we weren't thinking about him over here, guys. We really weren't thinking about him over here. So why... It's, it's given he wants the attention back on him. That's what it's given. It's given he wants the attention back on him. Because even when I told you lot about the person making the fake account on Snapchat and I thought it was him, I said I was going to make a video about it, didn't I? But I didn't. But I didn't. You're talking about you sure? How the hell would it be him? It ain't going to be him, Cash. He ain't got my details. He ain't got my logins. He ain't got my nothing. And why would he delete videos of me and my ex instead of deleting videos of him? <laughs> All the videos with him were still left there. So no, it's not going to be him. And he ain't going to know how to do any of that. He's he's not tech savvy like that. I had to help him with his shit. Like, no, it's not him. Like, I was literally going to make a video about my stalker, my troll, the fake Snapchat account that added me, that was only saying things that he would say. And I never made the video because I thought, you know what, whatever, do you know what, if that's him... At least I know now in myself it was him. Block, delete. But it's given he wants the attention back on him. It's given he wants me to talk about him. He wants me to keep publicly speaking because he knows that's what I'm going to do. And then he's going to he's gonna be publicly silent, acting like he's so unbothered and doesn't see it. Blind to the bullshit. That's the, that's the persona he wants to give off when behind closed doors he's deleting videos that have nothing to do with him trying to mess with my money. Why do you care that this is how I make money? Like, why do you care? Why do you care how I'm living my life and making money? Why does that bother you? Why is that any of your concern? Because if I was to turn up to the gym and start telling your, your employers certain things, should I try and get you fired then? Is that what we're doing? Because you deleting my videos that make me money, should I turn up to the gym then? And get you fired? Should I turn up to the gym and let them know that you're fucking all the clients? Should we do that? Is there some sort of rule against that? Can, can... Should we talk about how you're a fucking creep in the gym? Should we do it? Or, or what? Is that even? Is that equal? Somebody's getting fired. Hey, hey. Because you know what? If he would have just deleted the story times and videos that he's in, I would have been annoyed and that's definitely petty. But I would have been like, okay, cool. Touche. I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. Touche. But the fact you went and touched my content that has nothing to do with you videos that I spent hours editing, videos that I spent hours setting up, lights, camera, fucking action. You went and deleted my new story time series. You went and deleted my vlogs. You went and deleted my sponsorships. The fact you went that far shows that you're doing this to affect my money. And no one plays with my money with no repercussions, I'm sorry. No one plays with my money with no repercussions. So say something now, because I'm telling you now, sir, my mouth is not going to close. If you thought that I was talking about you before and I was dragging you on the end, if you thought I was dragging you on, you're going to see dragging now. You've woke me up. You know how I am. You know who I am. And you've just woken it up. So I'm not going to stop talking now because you, <laughs> you don't have a leg to stand on. I don't know who's gassing you up behind closed doors. I don't know who's gassing you up to think that you can do things like this. Because now I'm going to really drag you all over the internet. You're going to be forced to make a channel. You might as well make a channel. You might as well try and fucking monetize. Go on, give me a comeback then. 
Because you want my attention so bad. You wanted my attention so bad. Now you've got it because you're fucking with my money. I actually have bills to pay and pay my bills. I'm sorry. Sorry. Sorry that I pay my bills. <laughs> And I've always been able to pay my bills with or without you. Yeah. I've always been able to pay my bills. Even when I've not got much money and I'm broke, I'm still able to pay my bills. Something you can't relate to. And talking about he wants his share. The thing is, yeah, in our last house, when we were filming content, he had a cut of the earnings. All the YouTube earnings weren't going to me. He had a cut. In that last house we lived in, when we had mukbang channel, vlog channel, challenge, all this, he had a cut. We split the money on all of those channels and all of those videos. So he's already been paid for those videos. So for him to even come and try and delete videos that are private that aren't making any money anymore you're just so sad you're so sad those videos are private they're not even making money anymore but you still felt the need to delete them you still felt the need to delete them Everybody that's coming late asking questions, I'm not going to repeat myself. What you're going to have to do is just watch this live. When I get off, watch it back or rewind it from the beginning from now. Because you guys are saying things that I've already covered. Anyway. I'm going to go. I've got someone at Google to speak to about retrieving these videos. So I'm gonna now have to go through all my emails, get the titles of every single video I've uploaded. To be fair, I don't even really care about the old ones. I'm probably not gonna go and get all the titles from all the old ones. I might just go and get like the most popular ones. Like, what's our most popular ones? Like I got the house tour back. I remember that one, house tour. I made sure they retrieved that. Yeah, I retrieved that. Everyone's going to see the house that I paid for that you didn't contribute to. Yeah. Yeah. So probably I'll try and get back any of the big videos. But as far as like every single vlog we had, I'm probably not going to. I just want to get all my videos from like the last four or five months. Because I've been uploading content. Why the fuck are you deleting my content? <laughs> Oh yeah, the STD prank, gone, it's deleted. You look and see, there's bare videos. Think of any videos now, type it in, they're gone. <laughs> they're deleted. Deleted. So I'm gonna try and retrieve what I can. I'm just happy I was able to retrieve the story times, as well as my story time series, as well as my vlogs with my sponsors in it. I'm glad I was able to retrieve those. But I know there's more. I'm trying to remember the titles of videos I've uploaded in the last month or two. Because I know there's more. I know there's more. Because I've been doing... I feel like he's even deleted some of the vlogmases. Because I'm looking at the vlogmas numbers. And the numbers are skipping. It's skipping from like day something to day something. It's just... <sighs> They're coming back. No, the chef thing with Chai is still there. He didn't delete that. Probably because it didn't have a lot of views and it's not even monetized. And he can see, because if he was logged into Create a Studio, like I know he was and how he did this, he would see which videos are monetized and which ones aren't. And me and Chai's video was not even monetized. So he probably looked at it and thought, oh look, she made no money off that anyway. I'll leave her that one. <laughs> I'll leave her that. Same with my birthday vlog. My birthday vlog isn't monetized. So he probably thought, oh, look, her birthday vlog ain't even monetized. I'll leave her with that. 
there's bare videos even hold on there's even videos he's deleted that still ain't got nothing to do with him like like when i did the hot chili challenge well i mean he was in it sitting next to me but that was me doing the hot ghost pepper challenge deleted what other ones did i do there's bare videos where i am like the person doing something and they're gone he's just deleted them just delete them apology video gone even my video is gone the video that i posted after his apology video my video where i was crying gone he's not even in that video but he deleted it why <laughs> why did he delete it it's gone pregnancy prank gone japan vlogs gone Everything gone. <laughs> Everything gone. Oh no. Everything gone. It makes no sense to delete videos when so many people have reacted to our videos anyway. So even if I was to delete every video off of my channels, because mind you, there's videos on my other channel, DXINX, he wasn't able to touch those. And you know what's so funny? He probably would have. If he was more computer smart, he probably would have figured out how to switch over to that account and delete those ones too. And he would have deleted my whole EP. I know he would have. I know he would have deleted my whole EP, but he didn't figure that out. He weren't fast enough, dummy. So ha ha. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha he he. Hoo hoo ha ha. <laughs> But nah, he deleted everything else though. He deleted what he could. That must have taken him ages as well. Do you know how many videos was on this channel? Public and private. For him to sit there, there was hundreds of videos on this channel. And he sat there deleting them one by one. You know what he probably did? He probably just pressed the top button, select all, delete, select all, delete, select all, delete. Yep, the one with the park with me, him, yep, and they are gone. You know these are gone. Type them in, they're gone. All of these videos, gone. Gone, 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 All the vlogs as well, me decorating, flipping doofus, Lee's yard, gone. House hunting, gone. Certain videos that I was doing by myself when we moved to his mum's house. Like, remember I had a video where I called a psychic, gone. Remember I had those videos when I rented an apartment for myself, gone. From like 2019, do you guys remember these videos? I remember I did another video in that same apartment doing like weird food combinations. All the all the videos from that time frame gone. Everything's gone. Everything's gone. But as long as I can remember the titles, what the name of these videos were, word for word, I can send it to YouTube or Google and they can retrieve it. So that is what I'm gonna be doing for the rest of my evening. I just thought I would come here and inform you guys because a lot of you have noticed that my videos were gone, yeah? Just know that I have not deleted anything. I have not put anything on private. My broke, bitter, bum, bitch of an ex has deleted them. And I know it's him because who else would it be? He don't even have to confirm to me it's him. I know it's him yeah i know it's him and for that there will be another video with everything that i've said in this again because i'm gonna monetize off you because you don't want me to monetize off anything so i'm gonna monetize i'm gonna monetize on this live stream and then i'm gonna say everything else in front of a fireplace and make it look pretty and sweet and cute with a glass of wine I mean, I gotta say it all again. 
and edit it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And get that one deleted, bitch. I might make two. I might need a video for DXINX as well. Would you prefer to be emailed video name? Yeah, you can email me. Email me, Instagram, DM me, tweet me. Any video titles that you guys can find. Because what I try to do is find videos on Twitter that people might have tweeted and at me in it. So if you can find any title names of my videos anywhere, send them to me and I'll, I'll send them to Google to get retrieved. I want to do as many as I can today because I don't know how long they can retrieve the videos because I'm assuming he's done all of this yesterday. So, but yeah, everybody who's got questions, just watch this live back. I'm not going to repeat myself. All I'm going to say is now protection is over. I tell it to leave the man alone. Nah, do what you want. Do what you want. Because there's a lot of people that wanted to harass him. And I said, no, leave him. Don't say nothing about him. Do what you want, yeah? Because guess what? He's crossed the line. Crossed the fucking line. Oh, what? He deleted me and Paige's freestyles too. <laughs> Has he? Has he deleted me and Paige's freestyles? He can't delete the ones on DXI and X. But I remember we had some on this channel too. Daily Diana. So he's, he's deleted some of those as well. Lovely. Swell. <laughs> Swell. <laughs> I want all my, my house tours back. I need to remember what I call all the different house tours. Because all the house tours, I want those there for my evidence of my decorating and stuff. I like the way I decorated every single house we ever had. And you're going to go delete them. I want those back personally for myself so I can see my decor and the evolutions. So get rude. So I need to get all those those house tours back. Especially the apartment that we had, where I had the basement. Like you're gonna go delete my basement series. Man deleted my basement series. Man deleted my basement series of me putting together my basement. Oh my gosh, yes. I remember that vlog, Paige's house I went to for a party, gone. What did I call that vlog? What the fuck did I call that vlog? I know exactly the vlog you're talking about and I taught everybody how to do the Michael Jackson thriller dance. I can't remember what I called that vlog. He can't silence me. He's not gonna silence me. He's not gonna stop me. I'm gonna get back as much as I can remember, but you, I need you guys' help. So if you guys can remember any titles or find any titles of videos, if you guys have ever tweeted one of my videos yourself, that maybe has the title in it, I just need the titles. Even if I can't get the links, I already mentioned this at the beginning of the video. YouTube said that's not how their, their thing works. They can't just tell me what videos have been deleted and just re-upload all of them. They said I need links. The first man told me I need links. And then the second man said I don't need links. If I've got the titles, he can do it that way as well. So right now I'm just working on getting the exact titles of my videos so he can look for them in the back end and retrieve them. Even that, because I'm gonna put, put all the receipts and all the conversations in my YouTube story time, all the screenshots of me talking to Google and Google saying, yep, you got any more? Yep, you got any more? Google telling me, no, you could just do that. Yep, because I know the frowsy fuck is going to watch it and I want him to see. Look at me. Look at me getting all my videos back in real time. Look at the lovely, what was his name? Andrew. Look at lovely Andrew over at Google. Saying, yep, any more? Yep, give me another title. Yep, that got that one. Yep. Go on, come and see helpful Andrew. <laughs> I didn't get the transcript for the first conversation. I wish I did. 
because I weren't thinking to um, do a video and include them. But the second person, Andrew, that I spoke to, got the whole combo of lovely Andrew. I'm going to put that in my video, give Andrew a nice little shout out. Shout out to Andrew here. As you can see, he's helping me. I'm giving him titles and la la la. <laughs> Pick up Andrew. <laughs> I don't know who I'm going to speak to next. Hopefully it's Andrew again. <laughs> Oh, come on, Andrew. Mm. Honestly. Honestly. Yeah, you think he cares? You think he cares about me having a Leo? You don't give a shit. This live is being saved and monetized. But anyway. I've taken up enough of your time. If you're late to the party, just go ahead and watch this live. It will be left back on. If any videos get deleted, no, it's not me. If you can think of any video titles or you've got any videos that you remember that is no longer on my channel, send them to my email. Oh, little black book 91. It just gets worse and worse. <laughs> it just gets worse and worse. You're gonna have to watch the live back and see, see what man is doing to mess with my monies. Yeah? Don't worry, Leon, members only live coming very soon. Let me get on, on the line. Hopefully I can talk to Andrew again and retrieve these videos because I am going to get my coins. Sorry, Brokey. Sorry for you. I'm sorry that I've been able to make a living filming and editing videos. I'm sorry, but I'm going to continue to do that. And you're not gonna stop me. Uh, call him whatever you want. I don't business. My personal fave is bitter, broke, bitch. That's what it's giving. Man thought he was stunned on me with the Range Rover. I don't business. My big boy Mercedes is sitting right outside. And I'm sitting very comfy in my nice motherfucking comfortable duck down bed, bitch. That you ain't thought I was gonna have. You thought I was gonna be at my mama house on the couch, losing custody of money. That's what you thought, you bitter broke bitch. Well, things didn't quite pan out that way, did it? Instead, you're seeing me in Belgium record music. Then you're seeing me in Barcelona record music. That's what you're seeing. Yeah, bitter broke bitch. That's what you're seeing. You seeing the sunroof in my vlogs. You're seeing the sun beaming down on my scalp, on my head top. That's what you're seeing. I never forget when we were sorting out the house and he found the spare keys for his old car and he's like, oh, I could have got 200 pounds more if I had these keys. I was like, yeah, the same thing happened to me. What, you sold your car? I said, yeah. Man was flabbergasted thinking, you sold your car? Thinking, what's going on over here then? She's making moves that I don't know about. Yeah, I did sell my car because I upgraded. I got a better one, a bigger one. Yeah. You upset? What's it to you, pal? <laughs> what's it to you there, bud? Ain't you got a Range Rover to worry about? Don't be worrying about Marcus. Marcus is good over here. <laughs> Big body bends. <laughs> like, <laughs> like you want me to be over here panicking. Oh my gosh, she's deleted all my videos, all my story times, all my views, all my money. But I got them back. Now what? 
I got all three of them story times back. Now what? They're not going anywhere. I soon upload them again on another channel. Just because. Should I just re-upload them again and again and again and again and again? Should we? Should we upload it on Vimeo? Should we upload it on fucking OnlyFans? <laughs> Should we upload it? Where else? Facebook? Should we upload it on Facebook? Should we just upload it everywhere? Here's the video my broke, bitter bitch ex didn't want you guys to see. Discord? Does anyone else want a copy of the vid? Just in case they mysteriously disappear again? Patreon? <laughs> Unleash the dragon. I know you don't really want to unleash the dragon. Yeah. 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 Anyway. Enough. Yeah. <laughs> this account if you look on my on my channel a few videos are back i managed to get a few back the ones that i could remember and the ones i could find links for but this channel all the videos were deleted so the ones you lot see on my channel now those are the ones that i was able to get back but i need to get back more so i need to remember titles if you guys can find any links on the internet Check your search history, your watch history, maybe. Videos you might have liked. You might have liked a video that's no longer there. But if you guys have any videos that you remember that you no longer see on this channel, let me know so I can send it to good old Andrew at Google. You want the apology videos back to you? Yeah. I'm gonna love you and leave you. This live will be left up so you can watch it back. Fill yourself in. Shout out to you guys. But you can't hold me, Dan. You can't stop me. Yeah? You can't fucking stop me. And that's what really, really pisses him off that I actually am living my life. And I'm doing all right. Never needed you for nothing. It was always you that needed me. You needed me. Yes, I'm into beer. Don't even know what I saw you. Stop calling my phone at 3 a.m. and begging me to call. You've been replaced. Now I should slay. I'm your fan to see. But you ain't shit to me, yeah. Now that I've glowed up, it don't make sense to go and throw back. Oh my gosh, the X vlog. Behind the scenes of X. He deleted that too. I need to get that one back. Behind the scenes of X video. I need to get that back. Yeah, he deleted that too. <laughs> he deleted that too. That just reminded me of the vlog I put out after that. I remember it was the vlog of Martika's video shoot. He deleted that too. Like what I remember, I went to Martika's house after the X video shoot and I vlogged. Why come see victory? Yeah, yes, Samantha. Yes, Samantha with the victory. Why? Mm -hmm. Yes, I was singing my song. That fortunately he didn't delete. <laughs> you can send them to Diana's diary or my it's Diana Morel email address. That email address should be connected to my Instagram. <laughs> I doubt it. 
Oh my gosh, it's Marty. No, I think I think he left Martika's birthday. Unless you're talking about when me and Martika went to the tent for her birthday. That was like a few years back. I think that was deleted too. I'm gonna go look through them now. Cause he left a few. Like I said, he left all the ones that had rubbish views. So <laughs> Yeah, he's mad because he was Nyam in front. Like, I'm sorry, I wasn't at Nyam in front. Don't be mad at me, just don't Nyam in front. <laughs> when you dyed your hair blonde and it's the... Oh my gosh, my EP launch party, he deleted that. My EP launch party, that vlog was the channel trailer. That's gone, isn't it? That's actually gone, isn't it? He deleted my EP launch party. <laughs> Man deleted my EP launch party. Oh my gosh, did he delete Paige's engagement? Is Paige's engagement still on my channel? Guys, let me just get on, on the computer and just sort this shit out. He deleted Paige's engagement. So that's what I'm saying. He's deleted videos that have nothing to do with him. So he's not just deleted videos regarding him. He's deleted videos that make me money. So that's what it is. I've been on here long enough. Let me go and sort out my, my, my videos and figure out which ones we're gonna get back. If there's any that you lot can think of, send them my way so I can try and retrieve as many of these videos as possible. The main thing is the ones that really have been burning inside have been retrieved. All three story times in my lovely gowns have been retrieved, okay? So those are the ones that I know really, really burn in. So I'm just glad that if nothing, I've got those back. You can email me or send it to my Twitter or Instagram if you guys can think of anything. And um, hopefully by tomorrow, I should have a lot of my videos back. Love ya, enjoy your evening.